bit of work on this 830 I think I got a lot of other things I got to do but I still am dying to devote some time to the 830 okay wow so I got I'm working on the last bolt here I almost didn't know that bolt was there I don't know how I missed it but now that I'm working on it wow it suckers tight so I'm wrapping it back and forth with the impactor hoping to shake it free and spray it with PB blast a little worried about snapping it off and being stuck I don't want that to happen so I just gotta keep working at it. Ew! All right, I got this thing off the tractor. Now I got a big gaping hole in the tractor. Anyway, so it's off and I took the dog bone out. So now it's dripping and oozing out of the hole, the port that goes into the cylinder. So I know that's all that stuff's coming out of that cylinder. Honestly, I don't know if it's savable. The cylinder, it might be shot. So there's supposedly a snap ring. There's a snap ring here. We gotta pop out and then shove the whole cylinder out because the cylinder is just pushed into this casting but that's what i'm up against now i'm gonna see if i can get that cylinder out and when i do we'll see what it looks like so i have another development in my dilemma with this the piston evidently was parked in the all the way full up position which pushes the piston out this way anyway there's a snap ring here and i can get on it i you can probably see me prying that a little bit it hits the piston the piston is too far back to get the snap ring out so i guess i guess i gotta try to shove this the piston back in I'm gonna try to do that with a port of power. See if that puts enough pressure on, just shove it. Maybe that and a couple taps with a hammer. I flip this thing over right on its head so that hopefully with the cylinder, this ends up a little bit, gravity's draining it out. I mean, it's just got water in it. But then I take these hoses off, the hydraulic remote hoses, they got water in them. This has water in it, the water comes out of there. I, this thing is just waterlogged. Now, I don't know if it sat for a long time and then it got water in it. That sat in the up position and seized up. That valve is full of water, I'm sure. Everything moves on it, which means it's not stuck, but it's full of water. This is the pump. I would guarantee that this is shot, pretty much it would be my guess. So it kind of says we had to pull it off, see what it looks like, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do that. Yeah, that's so much water, <laughs> jeez. Well, there's still water, it'll be honest there's a water in the bottom of that i mean i didn't drain it all out yet meanwhile if you look in here gears all look good i mean they look clean they're not pitted up i i dropped some dirt on that one we have to clean this out good hell i got a crazy idea i squirted some pb blast down the port that goes to that cylinder and put some air pressure to it i was able to just run a 3 8 pipe tap in there and put that uh, nipple on there and i i'm just gonna leave pressure on it See if it shoves some of that PB blast in there and frees it up a little bit. Then I'll probably try the port of power again, see if I can get it to move. I, if I can get it to move enough so I get the snap ring out, then I could put it in the press, shove the thing apart, and uh, fix it. But anyway, water. Water bad. I guess part of the water problem is probably this. This is what's left of a shifter boot. At this point, it just rotted. It just crumbled to nothing. Honestly, I don't think a new shifter boots would make that much difference. I got to keep her inside. So, girl, I get, I do all this work to it and everything. She's never sitting outside again. Not overnight or out in the rain if I can avoid it. Continuing our Case 830 saga. So Connor used the port of power and he pushed the piston out of this thing. I just kept filling it with oil until we had enough to shove the piston out. And then it just blurped oil all over, right, Con? Pretty much covered the floor with oil. Covered me with oil. Covered you with oil. <laughs> All right, good. So where'd that piston go? That piston's here. He's got in a little tub. He's cleaning Giant. up stuff. You know what? I have a parts washer. What do you mean? Right there. Brand new. We just never use it. I don't know why. That's weird. All right. So anyway, I think I'm going to take that pump off and see if it's not all clunked up full of rust and crap. The thing about hydraulic pumps is the clearances in here are very, very tight. And they have to be to create the pressure they make. And when they get a little war, they get some scoring, the pressure just slips by and the pump's no good anymore. And rust is the same as scoring because it leaves pits in places there you have to have a seal. And uh, that's kind of what, what can happen to you. Another problem I found was, so the line that goes, the high pressure line that comes from the pump and goes to the valve, it's a little pinhole in it because it's all rusted up. The Where it sits, it was a place that gathered a bunch of old whatever got in there dust silage hay seeds whatever and it destroyed the destroyed that line so i got to figure out where to get that line i don't think i can just buy it as a part maybe i can i'll have to see 
Maybe somebody can make it up for me. So we did more digging, and as we're digging, we're finding more stuff. And if you can see that down there, there's a screen down there. That's the pickup screen for the hydraulic pump, and it's got rips and tears in it, and it's trashed. No way to get in there and fix that, so we're gonna have to pull this back section off. And I don't mind that too much anyway, we'll just, we're gonna pull the back section off, and that means we can inspect the PTO clutches. We got junk in here we wanna clean up. Uh, hydraulic oil that's gone really rancid. Pull this off, that's pretty bad. We see more signs of nasty oil down there, watered up oil. And once that's turning into is like gooey jello snot at the bottom of the, the transmission case, well, you can see it. Yeah, we gotta get that cleaned out of there. That's stuff that's just gonna suck up, get in that screen, plug it. Now, I don't know what tore that screen. I mean, it's almost like it mechanically got torn. Well, so that's another thing we'll have to inspect looking for stuff. But that's what happens. You get in these old tractors, you run into issues. Other than that, the gears, everything look good in here. The bearings look okay. I mean, I don't see any any telltale signs from where, I'm, where I can see looking. But we're gonna have to pull the back off now. Yep. Okay, so I've just taken my old engine cleaner device. It sucks up fluids usually, but I'm using it backwards. So I'm blowing bubbles down there, just trying to stir up all that nasty snot I'm trying to clean out. So to do that, I have to plug the end of the thing. I'm just jamming it into a bolt hole. Yeah, it's working, it's bubbling and boiling and hopefully knocking out some of that stuff. I got this first compartment mostly clean. So I gotta move on to this compartment and then back to the last one. Now I'm just gonna take it and drain it off into this pan, see what kind of nasty goo comes out. Oop, here we go. Ugh. Big old snot came out. Most of it don't look too dirty. I mean, it's. I just keep reusing this stuff. Boy, that was a big, big chunk of junk that came out of there. Now I'm just gonna do it all over again. What I've got in this pan here is the parts washer cleaner fluid. Let's see, how good do we do? Not bad, I still see stuff down in there though. But mostly it's out. I'll be already cleaning up to live with, but Connor won't hear of it, I'm sure. It's got to be perfectly clean. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm gonna do it one more time, Con. Mm -hmm. See, now this is the other one, it's that dirtier stuff. So I'm gonna shake this up a bit and dump that out too. I'm thinking we can take out this bowl, and that bowl, and that, other one. And that bowl, yep. and then just leave the rest of this hang. We'll have to loosen that bolt, or it'll be too tight. Yeah, loosen up those bolts and, and we, take, we take those bolts stand. out, same thing on that side, jack stand under jack the hitch. Stand under that hitch and, we'll that and then we take spot. out all these bolts around the flange, which some of them are tight spots. Yeah. Oh, there might be one back there, Con. If there's one back there, we'll have to take those right off. And then down below here, back in there, there's a bolt we gotta get to. There's one there and there's one on the other side. All right, looks like plenty to do. Again, or still. <laughs> tappa, tappa, tappa. Oh, no. oh, don't break that. <laughs> you got her? Oh, yeah. Uh, I knew you would, Connor. I had so much faith in you. So we're gonna try to take this hitch off here so we can get the back section off. I'm not sure how this is gonna work. I took the bolt off on the springs on the front. It's over on the belly of the tractor. Uh, down underneath it. Here we go. This guy right here. It looks like some hex spacers of some sort. I thought just this bolt to take it out, but I should have realized this bolt's kind of small for all the weight that gets pulled on that. What's that bolt? So bolt probably about? I don't know. It's from the springs, the other end of the springs, kind. Huh? But if you can get the springs off there, I don't think we need to worry about it. We might not have to. I hope no, not. This, that stuff could all stay. Then we gotta drop this heavy hitch. I know, but I couldn't bend the springs out over the shaft. Oh, no problem. Put my spring bender on it. <laughs> oh my god. You have a spring bender you didn't tell me? Probably, it's a big pipe. Hmm. It sounds more like a nutcracker. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it in between it. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can do. We build these tractors to hold up, you know. It ain't some simple John Deere. Oh wait, sorry John Deere guys. <laughs> hey, I'd take the best of that. Yeah, we love John Deere's too, actually. This? Oh, is that gonna work? Don't forget, we gotta put it back on. That's a problem for another day. That's true. 
One problem at a time, right? Yep. Forget it. You want to use this big pipe on there? Nothing says we're desperate more than a big pipe. Well, Put pressure on it. I'll give it a whack. Oh, that comes off. Well, yeah. Springs flex. That's what they do. That will, those aren't even trying, are they? Yeah, they're, almost, they're almost, almost off, too. Boing. Oh, you got that one already? Yeah, it made the spring sound. You did fine, too. Boing. Do the same on this side so I can get it on a camera. Okay. I think the problem is I'm prying unevenly. Yeah, that's what I mean. So if I give a tap right over here. Mm -hmm. The other side was so easy. I thought the other side would be the tough side. These They're actually bent, huh? Yeah, yeah, I think something, something little happened little. to this at one point because I noticed that Let arm's me, bent. Uh, well, this arm broke. Somebody had to take it off and weld it at some point. Uh, I can see that's mushroom, but that's okay. That's an end. Is, I think somebody else already mushroomed. Oh, there's a loop. There's a lip on there that's holding that's it. That's what's holding it. Let's get it filed off. Let me grind it off. Yep. All right, that's our next step. I filed it a little. And the first one came off really mm -hmm. nice, but... No, I'm not getting the second one, so I might need to file it some more. You gotta file it some more? I'm gonna file it some more. My goodness, you're the best filer ever. <laughs> yep. I don't know how people ever escaped prison with one of these. <laughs> that doesn't seem realistic. If I ever go to prison, Bake a DeWalt grinder in my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Well, you got a lot of time on your hands. <laughs> One time I figured out how long, how many swipes it took to uh, cut through quarter inch plate steel with Ooh. a utility knife. Nice. Took quite a few. Okay. All right, that's good. So we got that apart. Now we're gonna get this back off of here. Look at that. Is that stuck on there? Of course. Really? Yeah. I wonder if this is a swampland tractor. Well, Northeast PA. So yes. Sure wasn't trucked in from South Carolina. Pretty sure. But we could drop the whole unit, actually. Yeah, we can. Let's get a let's get our floor jack under it. We'll take these big bolts out. Alright. So we got the jack out of the way, we got the hitch down. So mainly that hitch had to come down because there's one bolt hole. Well, that bolt hole and that bolt hole. Actually, I could have reached that one, but that one we couldn't. Yeah, it's behind. It's hidden behind that fill. All right, I'm gonna work on getting these bolts out. What do you think, Connor? It's pretty stuck on there. Sure, we didn't forget a bolt or something. That was your job. <laughs> <laughs> I always get the hard job. Ew. Pretty gross. I'm glad we're taking this off. Look yeah, that right there is enough reason. Okay. What do you think? We jam that little porta power in there. We can push it off with that. It won't take much either. Well, we don't forget a bolt. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> and break a break the housing. There we go. I want to hit it with a hammer. That's what I want to do. No, you don't. It shouldn't take much to pop that loose. You ready? You gonna pump it too? My goodness. Here's something. Oh, that's gonna pop and hit you in the face, Kyle. Yeah, I know. So I'm moving. But it ain't popped loose yet. That's how, how much weight you got on it? A little bit. There you go. Ha uh ha. -huh. That's scary. Boy, those porta power come in handy, don't they? All right, now it's just a matter of 
lifting the thing on up off there. So here's the whole reason we're tearing this thing apart, right, Con? That screen, why has it got big holes in it? What the heck's that about? Mice. Mice got in there? Yeah. <laughs> you mean it's under always oil aqua mice? It's always mice. Yeah. Look at that. The gasket's really holding it. I wonder how the clutch is. Look at the tar and goo in there. Yucko. That's yeah. Real snot. Get that piece off. We'll resolder a piece of new screen on there. That looks like lead solder. It's really oh, yeah. quite leady. Bearings good and everything, I guess is the question. PTO bearings and all that. Well, we gotta check everything out, right? Yep. I think everything must be good. It was only submerged in watery, oily water with oil and oil, watery oil. <laughs> How's that brake work? Spring loaded. I think it's just spring loaded. So when this activates, it must pu push on that to release the brake, and then when you release the PTO again, the spring pushes on the brake, so it doesn't put a whole lot of tension on it. Well, that works nice. Yeah, oh, that's good. Yeah, those work good. That's good. Uh, and then you see the clutches. That, I mean, we could tear that apart and check the clutches and plates out. That's not they don't look bad in there, and you know what? Sign of a bad clutch would be that this would be stiff. Be all swollen. Yeah, those that. plates would be coned because they heat up, and yep. then they cone, and then they never release. Ask me how I know. <laughs> tube. The return tube plugs into this. I didn't realize that before. Does it really? So mostly it gets fed with filtered oil. Only if it has to, it draws in more oil from the sump. Which means we really want to get the top o -ring seal. Right there. Yeah. Otherwise, it'll be sucking air all the time. Yeah. Very important to have that. Dang. Of course, you see that it's kind of slime on the bottom here where it's been sucking up goo. It's, it's been sucking up goo either. And then it, so our, we might be buying a pump, who knows. No, no. Well, we fought some battles on the old 830 case tractor today, but I think we, uh, we won some too. So anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.